The majority of chemical reactions discussed in general chemistry occur in aqueous solutions, meaning water as the solvent. When you run reactions in liquid solutions, it is convenient to dispense the amounts of reactants by measuring out volumes of reactant solutions. No, volumes are temperature dependent, and in some instances are not very useful. Mass is not temperature dependent, and sometimes may be more useful than volumes. When we dissolve a substance in a liquid, we call the substance the solid, the species being dissolved. In the liquid, the solvent, that species doing the dissolving. Example, coffee. The coffee is the solid while water is the solvent. General term concentration refers to the quantity of solute in a standard quantity of solution, solution being that solute in solvent. There are many ways to express concentration, but one more, one very important one is molarity, molar concentration, given the symbol of capital M, is defined as the moles of solute to so dissolved in one liter of solution. So molarity, capital one, is moles of solute divided by liters of solution, where liters of solution includes the liters of your solute as well as the liters of your solvent. Since volumes are not additive, and the solution accounts for both the volume of the solute and the solvent, we typically make the solutions by mixing them in a glassware with a specific volume indicator. Example, volumetric glassware. Let's do some calculations. I have a sample of sodium nitrate weighing 0.38 grams that is placed in a 50 milliliter volumetric flask. The flask is filled with water to the mark on the neck, dissolving the solid by shaking it. What is the molarity of the solution? So our goal is to get to moles of sodium nitrate per liter of solution. And our starting point is with the 0.38 grams. So we start with a ratio between the mass and grams and the volume. So we know that we have 0.38 grams of sodium nitrate for every 50 milliliters of solution. Now what we need to do is convert the units to desired units of moles and liters. So let's convert the milliliters to liters first. I know there's a thousand milliliters for one liter. And now how do I get from grams to moles? Well, that would be molar mass. So I know for one mole of sodium nitrate, I have 85.00 grams of sodium nitrate. My units cancel, leave me in moles, which is what I'm looking for, which gets me my moles per liter, which gets me my molarity, which is 0 0.089 molarity of sodium nitrate. So our goal was to get to moles per liter, and that's what we did. We converted the grams to moles, and we converted the milliliters to liters. Experiment calls for an addition of 0.184 grams of sodium hydroxide in an aqueous solution to a reaction vessel. How many milliliters of 0.150 molarity sodium hydroxide should be added? What we want to do is determine the volume of sodium hydroxide that has 0.18 grams of sodium hydroxide in it from a 0.150 molarity solution. We need to change the mass term into moles and then use the ratio of your moles to liter, that molarity, to determine the volume. So in other words, we're trying to take out grams of sodium hydroxide and convert it into milliliter solution through using that molarity. We know that's 0 0.150 moles of sodium hydroxide for every liter of sodium hydroxide solution. So we'll start off with the 0.14 grams of sodium hydroxide. Then we'll convert that into moles to molar mass now I know there's a relationship between moles of sodium hydroxide and liters of sodium hydroxide through that molarity. And I'll place the moles in the denominator to get them to cancel. And then we wanted milliliters, so I'm going to have to do a conversion factor. 1,000 milliliters for one liter. We see that our units cancel, leaving us in our desired unit, which is milliliters. If I multiply all this out, I get a value of 30.7 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. 
This means that if I have 30.7 milliliters of 0 0.150 molarity of sodium hydroxide, that solution has a mass of 0.184 grams. How many grams of sodium chloride should be put in a 50 milliliter volumetric flask to make a 0.15 molarity sodium chloride solution when filled to the mark with water? Well, basically what we're doing here is we've got 50 milliliter solution. We're trying to convert that into mass by using that ratio of our liters to moles, that molarity, and then molar mass, moles to grams. One thing to remember, that if I take the volume of something and multiply that by the molarity of something, that's going to give me the moles. And for moles, I can get the mass. So a very important concept here, volume time molarity gives me moles. Something to keep in mind as you work in problems. So I'll start off with the volume, 50 milliliters, which I've changed to liters by moving the decimal place over by three. 1,000 milliliters to one liter. I now multiply that by my molarity, so my liters of solution cancels. And that leaves me in moles of sodium chloride. Now if I take the molar mass of sodium chloride, 58.45 grams for every one mole, cancel my units, I'm left with the term I'm looking for, which is the mass of sodium chloride, which gives me 0.44 grams of sodium chloride. This means if I take 0.44 grams of sodium chloride and dilute it to 50 milliliters with water, we'll have a 0.15 molarity sodium chloride solution. Homework 34.